Okay, Keone, thank you so much for talking. Appreciate yeah, it. for sure. Thanks so, for having me. No problem. So, how's it feel? You got the uh, the call uh, almost a week out before the fight uh, with Derek Campos. What well, were your feelings when you got that? Like I said, I was getting ready for Sada Wild. We were already on the prelims of this. I just got boosted up a little bit on the card position. Um, so, man, we've been grinding for a while already. We didn't know when we were going to fight, but we were definitely looking at August, September, and then we got that um, Awad fight booked because it was originally scheduled back May 29th before the COVID stuff. Then it got canceled, of course. And then, um, yeah, we uh, saw that, unfortunately, I guess got injured or something. He wasn't, he wasn't, um, he wasn't able to compete this week. Um, and I guess the same thing went for his opponent, um, Roger Huerta. So just it all just came together mm -hmm. it all and just came together what are your thoughts about Campos uh, as an opponent and as a fighter oh man he's tough durable durable tough guy um, battle tested he's fought some of the best in the world and I'm excited for that challenge mm -hmm. but you yourself being from Hawaii you know I always say Hawaiians are some of the toughest people in the world <laughs> um, you know I mean you got BJ Penn you got Ray Cooper you got you got a long lineage of fighting why do you what, what makes uh, Hawaiians just I think more durable and different fighters than people from other areas. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just the pride too of where we come from and and being able to leave everything out in that cage, win or lose, it's okay. As us, when we look at like back home, where people are gonna look at you as win or lose, as long as you leave everything out there, you know what I mean? It's fine, but. Uh, Definitely, I would say, like, I don't really know anywhere else in the world that are people that proud of being where they're from. Mm -hmm. Hawaii's mm -hmm. got a different little, you know what I mean? Everybody's kind of super proud that we're from there versus if guys was from mm -hmm. Wyoming or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where, you know what I mean? But just to say this, the pride of being from Hawaii and some of the morals and values and culturally that we were raised on, and uh, so let's talk about uh, just preparing for this fight. I mean, you said you were supposed to face a lot. Obviously, you're preparing for that fight, but that fight falls through. What what what, do you, what happens when you get uh, when a fight is canceled, but then you get a fight a week before a fight? Do you just go through the same game plan? Do you formulate another game plan? How does how does that work uh, with a training camp? Their styles are pretty similar. Um, I think maybe Saad's a little bit better off his back, and has a of course a lot longer reach. <laughs> it's pretty big for 155 too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um man I don't really see too many differences or switch ups in the game plan or anything honestly we just kept kept the full steam ahead in camp getting ready and that's that was pretty much it we didn't really switch up anything though mm -hmm. did you look at videos of compos uh... well, of course I'd be a fool not to mm -hmm. yeah but definitely we did we did our we did our uh, studying of the video, more so my corner guys did, and you know what I mean. All the guys that helped me out, I've watched a few of his, few of his fights and whatnot. And then um, we actually fought on the same card when he fought AJ McKee in Hawaii. Mm. Yeah, um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just excited. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. It's, now, it's gonna be a good one. Now you win this fight. Uh, what would you would you like next from Bellator? What is your career trajectory? Do you want to get a bigger fight? Um, do you think it's enough to put you in title contention? What tell us what your future goals are with Bellator? I beat this guy wherever the money's at. That's why I'm go. <laughs> I just want to fight the best guys and get compensated likewise for it. For fighting the best guys, should be getting compensated like them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So gotta prove it on Saturday night. Show them my worth. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, like any point that you know, like Miles Jury, who just won his most recent fight, um, is uh, do you well fight somebody that's coming off a win, preferably if that if that um, that's something you would like to prefer. Yeah, hundred percent. I let the matchmakers do their job. I do mine. I just fight, fight, and yeah, and try to put on a show. But definitely, uh, I couldn't see them giving me a lesser opponent if I do. What I'm supposed to do on Saturday night, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, like I said, we're, we're open to anybody. Doesn't really matter at that point. And how's it gonna feel uh, fighting in front of no audience? Is that something that you're welcoming? I've never done that before, but uh, it is a little bit weird. Definitely can hear the corners a lot more. Mm -hmm. So you don't hear the oohs and ahs of the crowd when something happens. So that may change a little bit, but um, 
honestly, man, I don't see no difference because I do like the crowd, though. I love that. I like performing in front of people. That's, that's a lot really fulfilling to me. But um, Cause I also know that when people... A fight's a fight. Like, I'm pretty much zoned in already. When I step foot in that cage, I don't really see nothing. I don't hear nothing too much. Well, I just maybe my attention is not really focused on what's going on. I'm more so keen into corners and... I also know uh, uh, fires from Hawaii, they tend to bring the entire state with them. It seems <laughs> like, you know, whenever Ray Cooper's fighting, he's yeah. got the entire audience is like Ray Cooper fans. Yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, is that also something that's a little bit disappointing that you can't bring your, your, uh, your family, friends to see this fight as well? I mean, because we're halfway across the world, I don't know how likely that would have been to bring that many people. First of all, brought a fight in Vegas which is only a six hour flight. Mm. We almost spent 10, uh, over 10 hours of traveling just to get here. We're halfway around the world, so mm. I don't really know how many guys would have. And then plus with, yeah, just all the hardships with this COVID stuff, mm. I don't know who would be really rolling out like no. that, but. Uh, well, I mean, like if there wasn't any COVID. Oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, I probably still wouldn't have had that many people. Probably you know, a big following, but he fights a lot closer to home too. Maybe in California we could add something like that because me and Saad were originally supposed to fight um, at the Pachanga. Mm -hmm. So that probably would have had a little bit more, but nothing compared to his guys because that's where he's from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but, yeah. So uh, any last, uh, last minute thoughts about this fight, Derek Campo, so that you want to say um, the floor is yours. No, man, I'm just excited, and everybody tune in, man. It's going to be a great performance. It's going to be a great fight on Saturday night. I promise you that. Great. Thank you very much, Tony. Looking forward to the fight. My dog.